I am Chuck and today I want to talk about lessons learned for disciple makers from a boxing coach. Today when I was in, in the gym, I was just listening to a boxing coach and he was so compelling that I had to go over and video him. And really all I got was a two minute clip. But from that two minutes, I extracted 50 different lessons that parallel what Jesus did with his disciples. And so what I'm going to do is let you pause this for just a second, take out a piece of paper and get ready to write down every single lesson that you see that you can learn from this coach to apply to disciple making. You ready? Pause the video. And then once it starts again, you'll see the coach and just start writing down your observations on how to be a good disciple maker from watching this coach. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. The fly is dead. Kill it. Got it. You got it now? It's in your brain? All right. You ain't got nowhere to go. You, you got to go with that, that second punch. That second punch. You kill him, you kill the fly. And then you come together. All right? Right! There you go. That's it, baby girl. That's it. You, you, got, you, got, you, got, it. you got it. Kill the fly. That's it. That's it. We ain't, we, 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 we ain't trying to kill. We ain't trying to kill nothing. To kill no fly. We just trying to kill the fly. That's it, baby. Girl. You got it. The rhythm is good. Now, now, now you getting up on it now. Don't, don't. You got, you got to. You know what I'm talking about? Now, it's not a hook. It's a punch. It's a jab, and that one. Do that. Right. Right. Do it again. Now back up. Back up. I want you to slide a pretty good. Slide. Let, but stick that. Do the punch. Right. Back up. Now when you back up, baby girl, you got to know where your zone is. Mm -hmm. You can't be inside the zone. You can't be outside the zone. You got to know exactly where you got to go to, to, to kill the fly from the very beginning. Right. Okay, I see something. You're starting to move before your hand moves. You know what I'm talking about? Everything go together. That's it! All right, did you catch that? All right, you probably got, I don't know, 15, 20 of them. What I'd like to do is make a list of 101 lessons learned from this little two-minute clip, and I bet we can do it. But... What I want you to do with your list is choose three that you see that you're doing really well at and thank God that he's coached you on how to coach disciples in those three areas. And then I want you to choose three more that you really need to improve on. And I want you to pray and then in the coming weeks write those down and just look and ask God how can I do some things about these three things in order to improve my coaching, my training abilities with disciples? All right, I hope that's helpful. Until next time, keep making disciples.